Okay, so what I will do first is uh, I want to I want to uh, uh, welcome and thank and all of you who actually are watching us now, are watching our uh, FB live now. So today we're going to be sharing about uh, ob obesity, right? Ob obesity, say no to obesity and obesity kills. Because we have our own story that we actually went through from we were from obesity, uh, very unhealthy, and we were on the verge of going to a place where we might be even have uh, critical illnesses like heart attack or any kind of uh, critical illness. But however, we actually made a choice to uh, change our life, you know, to, to, to become from obesity to uh, becoming uh, now uh, fit and healthy. So we're going to share a bit of our story as well as some statistics on obesity, obesity and why is it so important for us to, to, to overcome this obesity, right? So Zoe, can you share me now? I can hear, but I couldn't get on the watch party. Okay, I cannot see your, I cannot see your, this one, no, I cannot see your photo. Ah, I need to see, okay, you're there, right? So, okay, now no what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you a photo of us from being obese, of, uh, obese to now, where we are now. So, I'm going to put a photo, then Zol will start sharing a story about uh, his journey from obesity to where he is now. You'll be amazed at the photo. Hold on, let me share the photo first. Okay, uh, this is the photo. So, okay, uh, wait, let me just change to the first part. Okay, uh, this is our story. Uh, Zol, you want to share your story from when you started from being obese, as you can see on the photo on the left, uh, it started in January. You want to share your story first? Okay, Asalamualaikum, everybody. Good, uh, good afternoon, I would say. It's almost afternoon. Okay, I'm Joey here. Okay, uh, actually, a year ago, uh, I was obese. In obese stage one, I, I weigh about 110 kilos. So, mm -hmm. at that point of, life, of, point of time of my life, I was really unhealthy, you know. Uh, uh, a lot of my friends around me also uh, passed away uh, due to uh, health complications. And at the same time, uh, my son Fitri, uh, he's always, uh, you know, uh, complaining to me, telling me why, uh, Papa, you're so fat. You know, you're not like uh, Dada, our, 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 our father, who is really fit for his age. He's 75 years old, but he's very fit. You know, he has no health complications. So that, that was actually my wake-up call. So, uh, when I started uh, my weight loss journey, I didn't know what to do actually because I I have no idea how to diet on I, and I stopped exercising for the past seven years since I got my my son P3. So I said, okay, now let me go online and see what I can find. So I actually found this program uh, by the KKM Kementerian Kesehatan Malaysia on uh, diet sukus sukus paro. So I started uh, with that kind of portioning my food. Um, I uh, portion my food. Then after that, I started doing uh, walks, uh, walks around my neighborhood. I did uh, started with like uh, one two kilometers, and I gradually increased. Uh, then after six months, uh, I actually uh, lost about fifteen kilos. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, but after I plateaued for two months, uh, because the reason being is because my uh, I still my uh, my body is adapted to my workout routine and so my food. Uh, so what I did was I went online again on FB. And I found another program on uh, anti from anti fitness. Uh, it's a six week challenge uh, for us to actually uh, lose weight and lose body fat. So I I entered that program uh, for six weeks and actually I'm like I won that program. I lost about six kilos and five percent body fat. Uh, but at that point in time, I still had a tummy. My visceral fat was still high, but I didn't know I didn't know it was called visceral fat at that time. So at the same time. Uh, I was looking for uh, alternate, uh, uh, after uh, finishing the program, I was looking for alternatives, uh, how I can further, you know, my journey, my weight loss journey and to lose my visceral fat. So uh, at the same time, uh, I met out with a friend, my old friend, Roshan. Uh, he actually shared me this program, um, this uh, six uh, optimal health program. Uh, so mm -hmm. I looked at it and I saw, okay, uh, it's really a program which controls our food intake in order for us to burn our uh, fat, uh, to reduce our fat, in our, uh, fat in our body. So, Alhamdulillah, I started the program and I actually finished about my first cycle, which is six weeks, and I lost about uh, five kilos to that program. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, yeah, continue. Uh, okay, then after that, uh, I'm actually, I'm still on my, uh, my second cycle. Uh, I'm started my second cycle now. I want to get my statistic, vital statistic, to all to normal level. Uh, so far, I've already, uh, uh, um, you know, I've uh, gone get my, I got my BMI uh, and my weight to uh, my ideal weight. 
but my visceral fat, you know, and my total body fat is still at a, a not a normal level. So that's my goal actually. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for sharing, Zol. Okay. So that's what a lot of people don't know, right? When we started educating ourselves on uh, on on health, on on weight loss, the signs of weight loss, then we understand that some people say, "Oh, I don't need to lose weight. I don't need to be healthy. Well, I'm thin." But they actually don't know that actually there is other factors to that will affect health, like the visceral fat, like Zol was talking about. That is actually that a fat that covers our, our organs, and that will be that if we don't take care of that, if it's high, that will lead to obesity or, or even uh, health complication and or a serious critical illness. Even a, a thin person actually can still get heart attack, right? So uh, just to share with you before we start going to the, uh, the, 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 the statistics of obesity, I want to share a bit of my story as well. So what happened to me was, uh, as you can see uh, in the, the date uh, 30th or 9th, which was in uh, September, if I'm not mistaken, right? So what happened was uh, I I was uh, that time MCO lock, the first lockdown was in Gen in March in Malaysia, right? And then after that, about it was for about six months. And that time I couldn't uh, exercise. I was at home. Uh, I I ate a lot because my wife cooked very good food, you know. So we ate uh, good. We had nothing else to do, so we we enjoyed ourselves by eating good food and all that, lah. You know. So what happened was uh, at in that six months, I actually put about six uh five to six kg. But not only that, uh, that six extra five or six years was affecting my health quite quite uh, seriously. Like I started having uh, heart palpitations, uh, body aches, and then extreme uh, fatigue uh, and tiredness. I couldn't work uh, a certain uh, uh, I couldn't work my usual normal hours. After a certain amount of day, I'll be flat. I'll be flat. I couldn't work. So you see, it was it was really affecting uh, my health. And not only that, in that period of the two months, uh, six months period, I found that two of my friends actually uh, died of heart attack. So then I was telling myself, I said, if I don't do something, I said, I might be, you know, one of those, that kind of statistics of people, you know, so I told myself, it's like every, I know that every one of us die, we have our time and we're going to die eventually, but I want to choose uh, to live my life in the best possible way and not uh, die in that, in that way, you know, so that I thought I was praying uh, for a solution and then I happened to one day I was looking at my FB feed, I, I, I saw my brother's post, you know, like he was sharing his story about how he lost uh, from January to August, how he lost about 30 over kg. So then I was so inspired, I said, okay, uh, I P directly I DM, I DM him and I said, Zul, I really need your help to, to lose weight, uh, it's affecting my health. So Zul said, okay, Namba, let's meet up. Uh, he's very, he was excited, he said, let me introduce you to our, uh, my health and weight loss quotient and he will help you, he will show you a uh, uh, amazing plan that will actually help you to actually lose weight and not only that but be healthy so he invited me to his house he cooked his healthy food uh, for me that i met uh, our uh, health and weight loss coaches uh, edgar and may and they shared this health point six week program so i was amazed because the program is very uh, from many of the uh, weight loss or health programs i've been before it's very detailed and very scientific that means it tells you exactly step by step on how you need to be healthy and also to lose weight and that six week you actually have your own meal plan and using real food, no gimmicks, no salvation, no uh, meal replacement. It's all using very natural ways. So I, and I, I, can, I can relate to that. I want to be healthy. I don't want to be uh, losing weight, but I look haggard. I look uh, unhealthy, you know, because I've seen people who lose a lot of weight, but they, they are not healthy. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, after I joined the program, as you can see on the 30th, uh, 30th or 9th, my before photo, I was fat. You know, I can see if I stand up, you can see my... My, my, my stomach actually coming out, you know. So then after six weeks of the program, uh, or 29 or the 10, I actually lost uh, this the, 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 the day that we were in, the last day. And I was, I lost a lot of weight. I lost more than 4 kg uh, plus three, 2 point something visceral fat, uh, 2 plus visceral fat. And then as you can see, my, my, my I, you cannot see my, my belly anymore. I still have a belly if I take out my shirt, but at least you cannot see that stomach uh, protruding uh, you know, so I was very happy. I was very, uh, uh, very grateful. Then I said, okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pay it forward to educate and help as many people as well who are facing the same challenges, who are obese and because of the MCO or because of the lifestyle choices. And I want to work with my brother Zoe to actually educate as, as many people to actually help them to lose weight and be not just lose weight, but be healthy, be in the optimal health. Because once you have optimal health, like we are on the way now, we, we feel so good. You know, we, are, we feel healthy. We are we are, uh, you know, we feel that we are living our life to the, to the fullest. You know, you have, and you know, my confidence actually when the when I was obese, my confidence went down. Now, 
because I lost weight, my confidence is high, you know. So now we are starting to educate our circle, like our family members, our friends, you know, and then my wife recently joined the sixty program and uh, Zoe's wife also joined the sixty program. So I'm very happy, right? So uh, I want to share with you the next slide, right? Uh, it's about, it's a, it's a, it, was, it was a very sad news uh, the last uh, few days uh, where we, we uh, it was the last few days where we, um, we heard about the passing of Diego Maradona. He's a, he was a legend uh, in, in football. Uh, this is actually my brother posted this post uh, 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 about how he actually died of heart attack. You know? So we, it's very sad. Uh, I was very sad to hear it because this is the this story. Uh, he wrote, okay, let me read this, right? Sad to see a legend, Diago Maradona, uh, uh, who was once, uh, let me see if my brother can enter, okay, because uh, he actually got, uh, as he get, uh, with me, so I'm going to enter my brother again. Okay, so let you again, again, you, you actually accidentally got, uh, went out, yeah. Yeah, sorry, okay. I got cut off. Yeah. Okay, no worries. I'm, I'm sharing, with, sorry about uh, Diago Maradona, how we actually heard, uh, this very sad news about his passing uh, last in the last few days so we were like i i saw this but actually this one my my brother wrote this so i just read it out to you guys right uh, sad to see a uh, legend your mother who was once the greatest football and athlete uh passed away today due to heart attack he was 60 years old may he rest uh, rest peacefully as a health and wellness advocate i cannot stress enough the importance of living a healthy lifestyle do not let obesity be cause of death make the decision to change uh, today and pass on gracefully without health complication, complications. Yeah, so this was very sad because uh, a lot of athletes, right? Maybe so will add on later. They are in their head, in their prime or their optimal. They, when they actually they're very healthy, because they're very active, they're very uh, they're very fit. But the moment they have finished their career as an athlete, they start putting on weight and start having health complications. Because one of the things that I feel why is they're not educated in a proper balanced diet, meals. They don't uh, they're not educated in the proper health, you know, health sciences. So that's why we, when we learn about all this, that's why we actually now, we understand uh, all these challenges. We might not be doctors or we might not be scientists, but we know the program was created by doctors and scientists, right? So uh, that's why now we are on the path of helping, educating as many people as possible. So we don't go on that path. So, so do you want to add on to this, this uh, oh. photo of the Okay. Okay. Um yeah, the reason why I posted this one because I was at that, at that point of time during this World Cup, uh, I was supporting Argentina actually. And he was my idol. Yeah. He was really my idol. So I, I was really saddened by this news. Then I saw, uh, no, I've been following him for a while, but then the latest feature that I showed here is he's really totally transformed himself from his former glory days, you know, uh, which is really sad because um, like, like, we, like Zay mentioned earlier, a lot of athletes uh, in their when they are you know active, they are playing football. You know, uh, they are mainly they, are, they maintain their weight mainly not due to food and uh, not to control the food, but to exercise because they are active. So they burn a lot of fat. They have a calorie deficit, so they they burn more uh, calories than they consume. So they they maintain uh, at at the same weight, but they are not educated. As you mentioned, they are not educated in uh, what to eat. You know, the right proportions to eat. You know. And they are not educated uh, to have to eat healthily as a lifetime uh, lifetime thing. Uh, so they after what happened is um, after they finish their career, you not know, as a footballer or as an athlete, you know, or even the actor and actresses, they finish their their their, their movie roles and all that. They start putting on weight uh, because they you know they they will start eating. They go back to the old habits, you know. They start eating unhealthy food, you no know, junk food, you know, and most of them they go into depression because they cannot relive their glory days and they start drinking. As you know, drinking uh, has a lot of sugar, so the, the sugar actually will convert itself to fat and will lead to obesity. And for obesity, it will lead to a lot of health complications and to heart attack, uh, which is actually what happened to Maradona. Yeah. Yeah, many other people, right? So I want to show you the next uh, statistic. Uh, on obesity, uh, check in so well, eh? Hold on. Okay, uh, so this is Malaysian on uh, on weight uh, and obesity is very very uh, disturbing because he says here, right? Uh, the 2019 uh, National Health uh, Malaysian Survey finding shows a rising trend in weight gain and that 50.1 percent of adults were obese. You know, uh, I 30 percent, 0.4 percent overweight and 19 percent. Uh, 
90.7% uh, or B. So like, uh, like we let, let to share, if I'm talking to a person, uh, either I'm obese or she, uh, I'm overweight or she's overweight. Uh, which is quite uh what quite disturbing lah, you know and then uh, then only not only really affects uh adults but you also affect children uh because the the survey also finds that 29.8 percent of children aged between 5 to 17 were obese and now even children has uh type uh what type 1 diabetes and type what is type 2 diabetes now you want to share about that a bit about that about like children be affected by by diabetes zone okay uh okay uh, from what i learned from a coach our uh, coach in from australia he said that a uh, last time it used to be called uh, adult onset diabetes but now they cannot call it yeah. that anymore so uh because yeah. now they call it uh, diabetes uh type 2 diabetes because children are getting it and i got a friend uh she's got a child same age as me as p3 which is seven years old and the child has to go on insulin every day to mm. to to you know to to treat his diabetes that's how bad it is. You know, the kids nowadays they're eating junk, you know, sweet food and all that. So yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. yeah. Healthy food. Mm. If we eat healthily, they will follow us. But if we are eat are eating healthy, unhealthy like junk food, you know, that like we eat uh our portions is too much, they'll follow us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then the sad thing is like uh the why our our health and weight loss coach may right? why she started this uh this started educating about this obesity because she has a passion in uh in helping child with obesity because it's uh, the the Malaysia in the next statistic I can see is the highest of obesity in Asia you know so she was very passionate she said she pity the children because they said because the parents the one that feed the children give them the food and then the children are uh, they obese because of the food unhealthy food that the parents give so she wanted to do a program to help them so with actually with our program that we entered the health point we help parents be more educated on, uh, on 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 doing the serving the right food or giving the right healthy food and proportions to the, their, their children you know so do you want to add anything about that um yeah like like, like you mentioned it's our role uh to educate our children so what i do is mm -hmm. um you know, uh, as you guys know i'm uh, a driver so i drive around but uh, i will I will make it deliberately make my uh, my day so I come back for lunch and actually I'll cook for my children so they will be exposed to healthy food so they don't like eat Maggie Me or uh, junk food you know they will uh, have uh, at least healthy daily meals yeah. yeah yeah so the the yeah thank you thank you for sharing so uh, this another statistic that in this slide right in February twenty the World Health Organization stated that obesity has reached epidemic proportions globally with at least 2.8 million people dying each year as a result of obese, right? Like now all of us are so worried about uh, COVID, people die of COVID, but actually more people die of uh, obesity, of other critical illnesses than COVID, you know? So, but COVID is being addressed very seriously, uh, coming out with a vaccine, but people are not being, uh, being exposed to the seriousness of obesity, you know? So I think we as a person who is aware, Especially those of you who actually uh, have uh, have have uh, put your journey from like us from obesity to uh, for me I'm still overweight but I'm going towards being normal and though it's going to normal right uh, we actually have the responsibility to educate people because obesity has a lot of effects you know like let me show you in the next slide uh, uh, it says that obesity could increase the risk of severe of severe COVID nineteen infection by sevenfold so those who are actually obese can actually get a uh, 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 COVID nineteen, they are seven times more uh, uh, more uh, to get the COVID nineteen, you know, infection. And then there's also uh, the the uh, what we do in our program. We talk about we waste our we measure our waste, right? We measure our waste, and when you measure your waste, it will tell you whether you are on that path of uh, going to a chronic disease. Like for men, it's ninety four point uh, ninety sorry ninety four centimeters. Uh, if it's more than 94 centimeters, your waist, then is you are going uh, increases of uh, development of chronic disease for women is 90, uh, 80 centimeters, right? And then if you are over 102 centimeters for men and over 88 centimeters for women, greatly increased risk of developing a chronic disease. So when I first started the program, I measured my waist, it's over 102, you know? So that means I was on the path. That's why I, I can feel my body breakdown because I was on that path. 
you know so but the moment you actually go on a, 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 the, the the health form program or any kind of health program you will start losing all this and then you start losing the weight then you will know you there's a measurement that you know that you are actually on the right path and that's what we do in our program we measure everything uh, do you want to add anything about on this okay um like they mentioned um uh, when your waist is over 100 and two, you're greatly increased risk of chronic, uh, chronic disease. And when I started my journey, uh, my weight loss journey, uh, uh, beginning of this year, I actually, my waist was actually 104. And I was, I was wearing like uh, 40 inch uh, pants. So mm -hmm. after I started my journey, I know I started uh, controlling my food and all that, uh, started exercising, you know. Alhamdulillah, I managed to, now my pants is at uh, 34. So and mm. my 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 waist total waist is under the the, the danger level, so okay. I've actually uh, uh, you know uh, managed to get my 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 to to you know to to get to get away from that chronic disease uh, zone you know yeah. yeah yeah okay so okay thank you very much for sharing go to the next one I just uh, just briefly say childhood obesity if uh, one parent is overweight. Class of child uh, child being obese is four times four to five times or more. If both parents are obese, the risk is thirteen times more. That's quite serious, right? One point six uh point six five million Malaysian school children are expected to be overweight or obese by two thousand twenty five. So that's why me and my brother Zoe and our team, uh, our health coaches, uh, weight weight uh, weight and health uh, coaches, uh, me and Edgar, we are so passionate about educating people. It's not so much about uh trying to uh trying to uh, it's not a gimmick or it's not trying to make money or people but it's actually really so we have been through it we have gone through that obviously so we are really uh, passionate to actually educate people on the program on the the, the health point program to actually help people to overcome this so uh, by next month right we're actually uh, planning to uh, to to do I just this idea just came to me. I think Zoe will like this idea that right? uh, it's a no say no to obesity campaign or a live a fit and healthy campaign. So we educate people to become fit and healthy, and we do a challenge, a six week challenge on how you can bring yourself from obesity to uh, at least uh, uh, overweight first. You know, so at least you are out of that danger zone. You know, uh, so that's what we are planning to do that next month. So we will actually add, uh, we will uh, we will update you. Uh, we have a Facebook group that we're gonna uh, put in the link below later. And uh, to actually, if you're interested, you can actually join the Facebook group and get updates on our program. So last, the last slide that I forgot to share just now is the effects of obesity on the body. As you can see here, a lot, all the major uh, critical illnesses and disease is actually uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, one of the, uh, the result of being obese. Right? Uh, they don't have to lead to everything, but you can see cancer, asthma, liver disease, gall bladder problems, type two diabetes and many other kind of diseases. So for us, right, uh, we really want to educate people uh, to help them to overcome it. So we have been there before, and then uh, we want to call out to educate people. Uh, so Zol, any, uh, maybe before we end the session, want to, any last uh, words or advice to people out there who are, they really, they're out and they're tired of being obese, they want to change their life. What would your advice be to them is? Okay, I will advise you guys, you know, I mean, I know a lot of people, even like me, uh, when I started my journey, I was very yeah. shy. I was very shy, you know, I was very ashamed, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to actually approach somebody who has actually achieved results, uh, to get similar results. Yeah. I was ashamed, I was shy, but um, like, um, like uh, you guys don't have to be shy, you know, it's, some, it's a serious matter. It's not, it's not, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, a, a laughing I'm matter. Trying, trying yeah, it's, it's, you really have to take the first step, you know, take the first step, you know, by approaching somebody that can help you. Like, we are more than willing to help you, you know, to help you achieve your health goals, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we don't we don't really make much money from what we do, but uh, it's because of our passion. It's because of what yeah. we experience. Yeah. Like me, I was fortunate that I didn't get into hypertension or, or you know, I didn't get into diabetes because I'll be, have a family or a, a generation of diabetes you know, in our family, but I didn't get into that. I was lucky and I want you guys to have the same. Before you get your next wake up call, you know you wake up in the hospital yeah. due to complications. You really should avoid yeah. that by seeking help. That's my advice to you. Don't don't be shy to seek help. No, uh, delayed, approach. Right? Yeah, approach uh, approach people that can actually help you. Yeah, to 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 achieve uh, your optimal health. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Zoe, for sharing. Okay, I also like to add in on to that, right? Because a lot of people we meet, right, when we share about this program. 
about how you can be healthy or have optimal health and also uh, 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 have the benefits is good to you. But a lot of people say, oh, the common um, feel that we get is, oh, I cannot uh, uh, go of my favorite foods. You know, I love certain foods, I cannot let go. You know, so uh, that in my mind, I said, okay, you're already at this stage. If you don't uh, let go your favorite food, right? Then over time, then later you're going to get a wake up call. Either you are going to be hospitalized and then you're going to be uh, having a lot of complications. Is it worth the risk, right? Of going there just to, just for the sake of uh, not for going your favorite foods. Like first, for us, we still eat our favorite foods, right? But there is a way to do it. There is a scientific way that we can actually, uh, uh, we have proportions, we control our food. And like for us, we did the six, the first cycle of six weeks. We really control our food and we became, we, then we had one week break that we actually uh then we we we, okay, we say we, we have a we have a few days off to take our uh, to eat again our favorite foods so it's not like we deprive our favorite foods or it's not a death sentence that you cannot eat anything we have a a, a a bit of leeway that we can you know so actually the program is actually very flexible that i like for me when i compare to other programs that i've done in the past it's like uh, uh dieting where you have to be hungry you need to um, meal replace it's even worse because you feel but for us, we're happy because we are eating healthily, we are uh, in the optimal health and we're snacking. We, we get to snack the whole day, but you, almost 11 times we're eating, you know, and but health, healthy foods. Uh, so it's not, we're actually enjoying this journey. We're, that's why we are continuing to our second cycle. If it was uh, something that is terrible, uh, constantly un not happy, we wouldn't have continued. We would have just gave, given up and just uh, uh, throw in the towel. But we are still, we are going to the second cycle. And the good news is our students that they also went to the second they started the second cycle as well you know so yeah so that is the beauty of the program it's actually a lot of fun so i do really encourage you guys to just have an open mind uh later we will put the link in uh, of our facebook group uh below and then if you are interested to know more about how you can be part of this six weeks program this challenge dm us personally as well we can even uh talk to you meet you one to one or uh, if you are outside of our the cmco range we can do a zoom call with you to, to educate you more what we are doing, not totally no obligation in the program. You're not required to sell anything. It's, it's about helping you achieve your uh, best version of yourself, your health, your and your weight. You know, it's not about us trying to uh, make money off you. So you don't have to worry about that, right? That the one we try to uh, uh, the, all that misconception we put aside. Just now, let's focus on you, helping you to get back on your on track in your on your life, your health. And to overcome, uh, to overcome obesity, so it does not lead you to uh, the reset statistic that we saw uh, just now. You know, yeah. So okay, with that, uh, thank you very much, Zoe, for joining me. Zoe is doing great, but in the uh, but along, but took uh, the time to stop and actually to 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 do this ibilas. So I'm very grateful. Thank you very much, Zoe. So uh, continue to follow us on our uh, our group, our our every page and group. And we look forward to share uh, to share with you uh, the next our next story in the future yeah okay thanks have a blessed yeah, and successful day everyone okay, okay bye -bye. Bye -bye. see you okay let me stop this uh let me live first uh, i'm just trying to stop this maybe i'll stop here um,